Tuesday edition of First Shift. Thanks for joining us. Sub brands give GMC a broad appeal. That story coming up. But let's begin with your morning headlines. Cruise will show its first vehicle designed to operate without a driver today. That according to Bloomberg sources. The autonomous car startup is majority owned by General Motors. Bloomberg reports the electric vehicle lacks traditional controls such as pedals and a steering wheel. On social media, Cruz has been teasing a major event to take place today, saying, quote, It's time to move beyond the car. The vehicle being shown likely will be used when GM and Cruz start operating the ride-sharing service they postponed last year. Tesla is pushing back against a petition for NHTSA to investigate and recall roughly 500,000 vehicles for alleged unintended acceleration. In a blog post from Monday, Tesla called the petition, quote, completely false. The EV maker saying it had investigated most of the complaints outlined and the vehicles worked properly. On January 17th, NHTSA said it would review the filing. It cited media reports of crashes attributed to unintended acceleration and complaints filed with NHTSA. Subaru outlined its electrification plans on Monday in Tokyo. The Japanese automaker says it aims to get at least 40 percent of its global sales from full electric or hybrid vehicles by 2030. Subaru then plans to electrify every vehicle in its global lineup in the first half of the 2030s. In making the announcement, Subaru also unveiled the first mock-up for the full electric crossover it's co-developing with Toyota for sale before 2025. Subaru says it will achieve the electrification targets by introducing the EV along with a range of what it calls strong hybrids based on Toyota system. And mega dealer Rick Hendrick bought the first off-of-the-line 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray for $3 million. The founder of Hendrick Automotive Group placed the winning bid at the Barrett-Jackson Scottsdale auction on Saturday. GM donated the car for the auction and the money will benefit the Detroit Children's Fund. GM says customer deliveries of the mid-engine vet will begin before the end of February. General Motors has groomed its GMC truck brand into a purveyor of high-profit, loyalty-driving sub-brands. As our Hannah Lutz reports, the successful Denali line and an expanded collection of AT4 off-roaders are poised to soon make up about half of GMC's U.S. sales. In 2019, the upscale Denali line made up 30 percent of the brand's deliveries, which rose 1.5 percent to nearly 565,000. GMC is rolling out the AT4 line across its full lineup this year. For dealers, the sub-brands attract a more diverse set of customers in the showroom. For example, the average AT4 buyer is new to GMC and younger and more adventurous than other GMC owners. Denali debuted on the Yukon about two decades ago, and AT4 launched on the Sierra pickup in 2018. There has been wide speculation that GM will bring back the Hummer name to adorn GMC electric pickups and SUVs. GM has not yet confirmed that Hummer will be a sub-brand or a family of vehicles. We thank you for joining us on First Shift. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Take care.